Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the Suji Toast reaction. So, in the literature you're going to kind of see two different kinds of Suji Toast reactions, which I have deemed the Fundamental Suji Toast and the Modified Suji Toast. Now these are names that I have given to reactions that don't actually exist in the literature or textbooks anywhere, but it's a good way to kind of explain the differences between the two. So in the fundamental Suji tropes, what we have is an alkene with one alkene group and then a leaving group. This leaving group can be um, halides or kind of oxygen uh, leaving groups. Uh, cyanogroups groups work well for this as well. You can also have phosphorus or sulfur ones too. And so we use palladium, neutral palladium or palladium 2 in situ with a soft nucleophile. So what works well here is enamines, enolates, and activated methylene compounds. And it's going to basic or neutral conditions. And so we get this nucleophile replaces the leaving group. Now if we look at the catalytic mechanism for this, we see that we start with a palladium zero, of course. And then we actually do an association first step, not an oxidative addition first step. So the palladium associates with the alkene here. And then we do an oxidative addition where the leaving group actually moves onto the palladium. And we get this little conjugate system right here. That the palladium is connected to. Then we do a ligand exchange, so the leaving group leaves and a ligand replaces it on the palladium. Again, this little conjugate system right here. And then we do a nucleophilic substitution where the nucleophile adds on to this position and the palladium becomes associated with the alkene again. The final step is just a reductive elimination where we get our palladium zero once again and then we get our product which is the nucleophile replacing the leaving group. <clears throat> now, if we look at the modified Suji Trost, this can actually be done with either a hard or a soft nucleophile, but whichever one you do it with affects the standard chemistry. <clears throat> if we use a hard nucleophile, which is usually like an oxygen minus, we get overall inverse of the standard chemistry where the leaving group was and the nucleophile is now. And actually what we see here is that regardless of where the leaving group is in relation to R1, R2, and the alkene, it always ends up closer to R2. This is assuming that R1 is bigger than R2, so the nucleophile adds to the less substituted side. So we always will find this nucleophile on the less substituted side of this alkene. And so the way we get this inversion is that we do an oxidative addition with inversion, and then a transmutation with retention, and then a simple reduction elimination. So we get an overall inversion. If we look at the soft nucleophile, which again can be enamines, enolates, activated methylene compounds, with two electron withdrawn groups work well for this as well, we get overall retention of the serochemistry. Again, R1 being greater than R2, we see that it always nucleophile goes to the less substituted side. And so this retention happens because we do an oxidative addition with inversion, and then a nucleophilic substitution with inversion and then a reductive elimination. So this is actually retention by way of double inversion. You invert the stereo chemistry twice, so that in the end it ends up being the same as in the beginning. Now these are kind of the two main ways you're going to see the super trust appear in literature and problems. And so if you have a soft nucleophile, it's going to be the modified super trust or the fundamental super trust. And if you have a hard nucleophile, it'll be the modified super trust. And what you can look for is whether or not the position gets inverted, um, and then this fundamental is there's not usually an R2 group, there's just kind of this leading group. So I put an example down here that you can try if you want to try and predict the product. Um, if you want to pause the video, that's fine. I'm going to put up the answer now. So this is an intramolecular Suji Trost where you would get this product. So thank you all for watching and I hope you learned something today.